Hello and welcome back to Gospel Faith Television UK. My name is Pastor Jimba Alex and this is part two of the topic which is 85% of the world that we live in today is full of darkness and sadness. And this is a reality because it's God that told me to make this video. He said go and share it with the whole world and let them understand that 85% of the world that we live in today is full of darkness and sadness and I said God but what do you mean and God said to me of course because the people of the world have all become so material so it doesn't matter what country you go to all the countries on the globe everybody is materialistic everybody's looking for something the whole world has become material. I remember when I was in um, Italy, when I was living in Italy about eight years ago, and um, yeah, I was in this city, town, city, more like a city, on the south of Italy. It's called Palermo. And um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be honest, I was staying in a refugee camp. And the people in the refugee camp in Palermo, Luigi Di Biagio. And a lot of people that live in that area as well, they were so sad. And I was there for like a good two months. And I was becoming sad as well. And majority of the area the, the, within the vicinity was full of darkness people were so sad because all they could think of was material things they said to me when I came into the camp they said that when I came in for the first three days they knew that I was from London or they knew I was from New York that's what they said because of the way I looked but when I stayed there for like a good one month oh my god I started looking sad myself I was in a refugee camp so from the outside you won't be able to, to detect what I'm saying but, but when you come into these kind of organizations or when you come into the world too much sadness in the world too much hidden sadness too many broken hearts and, and because there's too many broken hearts in the world they're trying to take you out on someone else people are too materialistic so rather than being materialistic yourself my message to you today is why don't you seek the face of your God? God said you can only worship him in spirit and in truth. He didn't say you can, you can worship him in, in material things and in, and in truth. Material things don't make you. You can be the most materialistic man in the world. You can have the most materials in the world, the most assets in the world. And you're sad. You're not happy. Too many people in this world, they're on heavy drugs as well. So you see a man on the street or a woman on the street and she's smiling at you like that. <laughs> and she laugh. <laughs she's on drugs. Heavy drugs. Narcotics. But you don't know that. Maybe he's got a mental problem. Maybe she's got a mental problem. She's so frustrated. He's so frustrated. And they're not happy. Inside, they're sad. It's God that showed me these things. But no one's gonna, no one's just gonna come out and say, you know what, I'm a drug addict, you know. Or no one's gonna come out and say, you know what, I'm so sad. No, people don't do that. They hide the real them. You get me, cameraman? They hide the real them. Eighty-five percent of this world that we live in. 85% of this world that we live in is made up of sadness and darkness. You can't see this thing in the physical. You can see a man looking so rich and macho, but at the end of the day, the man is not happy. Oh, the, the woman's not happy. You can see a woman looking so fit. And she's so dressed, well dressed up. 
but inside she's so sorrowful. If there's no darkness in the world, if there's no sadness in the world here, how come animals attack us? Wild animals, why do they attack us? Cameraman, you know when God created the world here, yeah? yeah, and Adam was in the Garden of Eden. There was lions in that in that in that in that in in that garden, right? There was elephants there. There were snakes there. So how come they didn't attack us then? You see, because there was no sadness and darkness in the world. As at that time, but something has changed over the years. So the world from when God created it and and the world from where it came from to where it is today, it's not the same thing. Too many transformations has happened. Too many betrayals in the world. When I say sadness, there's too many betrayals. When Judas betrayed Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that's not the only betrayal that's ever taken place in this world. A lot of people are sad in this world today because they've been betrayed. A betrayal is part of darkness. You hear that? You hear that? Betrayal is part of the darkness of this world. Be careful that you don't get betrayed. Too many shootings and killings in the media. These things are not the way of the, of, of the Lord. As soon as you turn on the TV, the news, someone got shot there. Someone got shot there. This one's been killed there. This one's been killed there. What, what does this lead to? These things can only lead to sadness. These are parts of the darkness of the world. Is, as it is right now, people are plotting in the world right now. Oh, how can we go and damage that man? How can we go and damage that woman? How can we go and rob that man's house? How can we go and steal that man's woman? How can we go and take that man's car? How can we damage that man's health? How can we put poison in his food? This is all the darkness that I'm talking about in the world. How can we go and drain a black man's oil in Africa and leave him in poverty? So many things. Why is there poverty in the world today? And because there's so much, 85% of the world is full of darkness and sadness, this has led to bitterness as well. Majority of the people in the world today, they're bitter. Politicians are bitter. Politicians are bitter. But, but, but they come in a professional form, in a professional manner. Scientists are bitter. Animals are bitter. Humans are bitter. Even the ocean is bitter. You want to know what I'm talking about? Fall into the ocean and you will see what will happen to you. When you fall into the ocean, the fish they are not going to say, oh, he's a friendly guy, let's be friendly to him. The sharks in the ocean as well, they're bitter. This sadness that I'm talking about, it's even gone deep into the ocean as well. It's in the ocean, it's in the jungle, it's on the land. Nowhere safe in the world anymore. Nowhere is safe in the world anymore. Too many lies and gossip. Oh, let's talk about him, let's talk about that one, let's talk about that one, let's talk about that one. Rather than lying and gossiping, we cannot pray to God. But I tell you what, the proof of the pudding is in, is in the eating. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. You see alcoholics and drug addicts, they're acting like they're normal. This is why Jesus said, it's not what goes into a man that defines the man. It's not what goes into the man that defiles the man. It's what comes out. You can wear the best suit in the world. You can drive the nicest car in the world. How am I going to know you're an alcoholic? You can wear the best clothes. You can have 
the, the best looking girlfriend in the world, I'm not going to know you're an alcoholic. The only way I'm going to find out you're an alcoholic is when you open your mouth and speak. It's all part of the darkness that I'm talking about. So we must start praying to God. How many minutes left, my friend? We must start praying to God. And tell God to take away the darkness from this world and the sadness from this world. I refuse to be sad myself. I refuse to be sad. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with having a little bit of sadness inside of you, but Jesus Christ of Nazareth, when he comes into your life, he will take the sadness away. So many murders in the world. Where did these murders come from? It's all part of the darkness and the sadness in this world. Murders just don't happen like that. These things are planned and plotted. So much anger in the world. It's all part of the, the, the sadness and the darkness. I said 85% of the world is full of sadness and darkness you feel me you feel me cameraman cameraman can you say that say 85 percent 85 percent of the world of the world is full of is full of darkness darkness and sadness and sadness but they can never get me but they can never get me yeah they can never get you they can never get me you have to know what you're doing you have to be on your guard at all times because because the devil's got a hidden agenda people are angry in this world because they face so much disappointment this is why jesus christ said i am the only way the truth and the life so when your life is full of disappointments and you don't have anywhere else to run to you're better off running to jesus christ of nazareth too many pretenders in the world too many pretenders in the world today. I'm not gonna fall for face value. I don't fall for face value. I look at the dynamics and the characteristics and the personality <laughs> of the being. I think I'm gonna round this thing off here. And I just wanna say that the topic for today has been 85% of the world is made up of darkness and sadness. And this is part two. You've been watching Gospel Faith Television UK. I just want to say thank you for watching. My name is Pastor Jimba Alex. Peace. Peace. <laughs> yeah. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>